When I was growing up, I remember my parents telling me, stop doing these silly mistakes in your mathematics. They are the things that are costing you the bucks. I didn't understand what they meant by silly mistakes, but they, I was very good in mathematics. But the silly mistakes here yeah, were costing me a lot of marks. And now I understand what they meant, silly mistakes. Now, they look very small, seemingly insignificant, but they are playing a very big part in terms of costing you marks. And that is what I want to discuss with you today about the silly mistakes that we do in our CVs that are costing us a job that you are fully qualified for. And because we don't recognize these mistakes, we keep on repeating them over and over and they're doing the same thing, costing us the job over and over and over. And today is where we put a stop to that. I have been blessed to help several people get jobs. Take a look at this email I got from Achiri. Hey Daniel, I'm very happy because after following you for like six months on how to write a CV and how to answer questions in an interview, I was blessed with a job in microfinance. May God continue to bless you. From Cameroon. Pay attention to this CV writing mistakes that I'm about to share with you and you might be the next person sending me such an email. So without further ado, let's get started. Silly mistake number one, having career objectives in your CV. You might be wondering, what? What do you mean? Having career objectives in my CV is a silly mistake. Yes, it is. Let me explain it to you why. Inherently, career objectives are focused on you, what you want to achieve and where you want to get to in your career. And there's nothing wrong with that. You should have your own career objectives. However, when it comes to the employer side, they are looking at how can you be able to come in and help us solve our own problems. Like, what are you bringing on board? And you can see these are two different perspectives. One, focused on where you want to go. The employer is looking at what can you do for them. So my advice to you is, if you have that area or that section, career objectives in your CV, get rid of it. It is not helping you get a job. And then replace that with a personal profile, a short personal profile, summary of who you are the kind of skills you have, the kind of experience that you're bringing on board, the value that you're bringing on board. And if you want to go into details, I've done another video as to why you need to replace your career objectives. I have linked it somewhere up here. It is somewhere in this video, or you can check in the description of this video, which will take you into details why you do not need the career objectives in your CV. So mistake number two, having grammatical errors and spelling mistakes. Now. It might look very simple, but I can tell you that is one of the criteria personally and other hiring managers they use to see which candidates are serious or not. Having those mistakes shows that you do not really pay attention to the details. And it's not because you do not pay attention to the details, it's that you have been having this CV and you have never taken time to look at the grammar and the mistakes in terms of spelling mistakes. So do not continue setting out your CV which has grammatical errors and spelling mistakes. There are so many tools, free tools that are out there that can help you do that. You can have someone even read through and then they give you feedback. You can use spell checkers. You can use grammar tools to help you. Personally, I do use Grammarly. I can drop a link on how you can be able to download Grammarly. It is free of charge. There's a free version and there's a paid version, but the free version is enough for you to be able to identify grammatical errors and spelling mistakes. Silly mistake number three, having contact details that do not work. You might think that that is quite of a stretch, but you will be surprised how many people have contact details on their CV that don't work. Like there's a phone number, you call, it doesn't go through. Oh, just because they omitted or they had a difference in terms of one digit in the phone number or the email you send, it keeps on bouncing. Yeah, it is important for you to counter check and confirm that your phone number is correct and your email address is correct. Do not put so many other contact details like PO box address who will invite you for an interview through the postal address. Now, just have your email and your phone number. And that leads me actually to mistake number four, is not having a professional email 
for yourself. Now, when you're a young person, you might have gotten away by having an email like sweet16, cute and lovely at gmail.com or handsome dude at gmail, whichever email address you're using, yahoo.com or whatever. But now, when you are getting into this job searching space, you need to have a very professional email address. It just says something about you. Use your names, first name dot last name at gmail or at hotmail.com or a combination of your name and it will look very professional. Do not send a different image or perception of who you are by having an unprofessional email address. Mistake number five is having your CV as a fact sheet. What do I mean by that? Just having facts and figures about you on your CV. A documentation of where you went to school, where you have worked, a list of your responsibilities, and probably your hobbies and your referees. However, instead of just listing these facts and figures down, you need to have a professional CV that you are using it as a marketing tool to sell yourself, to sell your skills, your capabilities, and your experience to the potential employer. And that means you don't need to have that random CV, you need to have a professional CV. And that is the work of the professional CV. Here at Career Point Solutions, we are giving you an opportunity to send us your CV for a free review. Yes, you heard it, free review. Just head over to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash CV review. There you get an opportunity to submit your CV for a free review. One of our career coaches will get in touch with you. They will give you a call and discuss what are your career objectives, what do you want to really achieve in your career, and how can we be able to put it in a very professional way in your CV. Yes, it's good to know your career objectives. I did not say it is bad, but you don't need to put that in your CV. So that is one of the conversations that we are going to have with you. Again, head over to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash CV review. And for those of you who would like to do it by yourself, there's this video here, how to write a professional CV. Make sure you take a look at it, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and until my next video, I'm out.